this is Holland with Holland SEO. I'm at the SEO HQ. I've got a bit of a treat for you today. Elite Trooper and myself made some oh, what? galvanized nux. And this is the finished product here. And they really work. I tried them out on Elite about two or three days ago and it just awoke this morning. Isn't that right, Elite? Aye. No, it's a joke. You construct these, do not strike anyone with them. They're one knockout, trust me. I tried them out on on a pillow for my own safety. And here's how you make them. I took a standard sander. Sanding block. You'll need that. I don't know what you call these, I forgot. Um, not a C clamp, it's, it's, I guess a C bolt, I don't know. Can't remember. But I've got a lot of these. And make sure you, you all this you can get at your local hardware store. It will fit around where your, your fingers can fit through. I actually carry a pair of these in my pocket. Or on my person, or in, the, in my auto. Just in case of something breaks down on my auto and then I need to repair it with this if you know what I mean and the other thing that you will need and now this is one of the most important things I prefer Rust-Oleum over any spray paint and don't go spray paint your neighbor's damn dog alright kids it's not what this is made for in fact, you have to be in the uh, United States, 18 years old or older, to purchase this. Well, this is actually metallic finish, silver, and that's what they painted that with. <coughs> okay, Elite, let's see. This you can pick up the hardware, hardware store. It's metal fastening band, a roll of it. So those three items, I highly suggest Rust-Oleum paint, yeah, it may be two pound more or two dollars more where we may live than the next brand but it's well worth it. And I have pre-cut this, you will need the best invention in the world since sliced bread and that is quack quack tape, duct tape. All you do is take the sanding block and I wrapped it, cut to fit with this. I have three pre-cut strips that go along the bottom. Okay. And this is all for durability and stability. And then I pre-cut this strip. And I have three bands around it, as you can see on the real set. I just cut one for time's sake. And I creased it with, this is a real metal finishing hammer. Tap and tap the corners. And then tied it off with wire here at the bottom. And then sheared it off. And that is exactly how you make galvanized knuckles and these really work except they don't shock the shade out of you no, they just knock the shade out of you so and I'll be working on the shocking device here trust me you may not get it to work right but I'll give it a shot and there you have it there's your galvanized knuckles to go with what's the other weapon in sticks and stones that I'm just a master with The what? The tomahawk. Tomahawk. Throwing hawk. This is an SOG paraffin throwing hawk. So now, and the crossbow in the background. We've got the crossbow, the hawk. I'm working on the ballistic knives. And I went ahead and fashioned the galvanized knuckles. Now just one thing in closing I'll show you. This is a leech knife to Sheffield 
clip point, serrated edge, beauty, love it, skull crusher on the end, got hilt. Oh, and a nice cushion with ABS handle. Very short. No running the problems if you run into a leaf with one of these. In a video game, that is, kids. This particular knife on the back of the sheath also comes with a knife sharpener and a magnesium coated fire starter. And there you have it, that's a neat setup on his knife. I'll show you mine in another video and we've got a few others coming up. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, I really appreciate you guys taking the time and out of your day to watch our videos. I really do. So wherever you may be in this world, have a good day or evening. Please do so. Have a wonderful day or evening. And I will catch you. Thank you everyone for watching.